Hey guys, I thought I'd make a quick video talking about the US 1200 uh, Tascam interface and its integration into Pro Tools. Now, I have seen people talking about how the interface doesn't work or how interfaces like it may not work in Pro Tools, but it is kind of a strange and not too difficult thing to get it in. So I'm going to try and not um, take too long and I'm gonna run through how it seems so difficult in Pro Tools but not difficult in other softwares. This is the software that I typically use to edit and uh, I'm actually really new to Pro Tools. Uh, so in Mixcraft you would just, you could see it here. I think we're already in, oh, okay. Typically your default would be Core Audio Wave RT and uh, well, we're gonna ignore that. And you would just get like these two channels left and right, and that's channel one and two out of six. So you'd have to switch over to ASIO, and then make sure this is your ASIO device, and then you get all your channels. And just to show you that that's working, you can hear, I have this cable plugged in, and if I touch it, you get the audio from the cable. So, ignoring that now, let's move over to the actual software you guys came to see. So this is Pro Tools. Uh, 12, so this is the newest version of Pro Tools, uh, I don't know, 12 point whatever. Uh, so what you're going to want to do in here is go to your playback engine first. A lot of people are going to be like, oh, go to your I.O. settings and uh, go ahead and create some inputs, but first you have to go to your playback engine. And then playback engine, you want it to be your device. I also have another audio interface we're not going to talk about. And it's going to say that you're going to want to restart your session, or it's going to auto restart your session, trying to make this work. And it's also going to give you this little error saying that, hey, you got to switch it to 32, 64, all, of it, or all this stuff. And just, you know, click OK. And what it was going to do is auto restart, but it can't do that unless you, you know, take a second and listen to Pro Tools because Pro Tools knows what it's doing. So what we're going to want to do is go to our US, oh, okay, whatever, US-1200 control panel. So you're going to find out after looking in this for hours that you don't actually have anything that says numbers of buffer sizes. But what you're really going to want to do is go to low latency or lowest latency, but we're just going to go to low latency. And uh, it auto updates itself whenever you do that. So we go back into Pro Tools. give it a second verifying that I have an eye lock and I didn't pirate the software which I didn't here's my proof I mean you know I could have just downloaded and 3d printed that box but I didn't okay cool so no errors in opening so what we're gonna want to do is flip over to hotkey flip over to this our uh, other window. I don't know the names yet. Uh, go into our I.O. settings now and then go over to, oh, it brought up these on its own and it's saying the name of the interface right here. That's really good. Uh, what you would do if it, this didn't automatically happen is go to new path, uh, create a stereo, you can name it, uh, input one and two, and it would auto create these uh, sub paths as monos which is good. I'm glad it uh, it did this on its own. Cool. So that's channels one through six, left and right. So what you're gonna want to do here is go to interface. We'll go to five and six, which we're just gonna want five, but I guess it'll pick up six as well because this is a stereo channel. Because I'm an idiot and decided to do a stereo channel, we'll switch over to the other one in a second here. My camera's dying, so we gotta make this quick. Uh, we'll arm it, and you can see it is picking up on the left channel this audio. So let's uh, let's test record real quick. Make sure this play marker is at the front, and uh, we'll record. <coughs> oh, okay. So it's picking it up now. Really, really hot signal there. Oh, yeah. Don't mess with that too much, or you'll blow out your preamp. Um, I'm gonna stop recording. You can see the wavelength over there. We're going to mess around real quick and create a new track. And I'll show you how this works in a mono. 
I'll turn this off. This is this little eye right here is so you can actually like preview your track input, track input monitor. But we're going to um, this will just like flip back over, and uh, we're gonna just switch that to no input. And you, in a mono, you can see all your things individually in a stereo. It links them together. Pretty interesting stuff there. So we got our five. If we monitor that, you can see that when I touch it, it works. So that's how you get the US 1200 to work inside of Pro Tools 12. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. My camera is about to die, so I will see you guys in the next one.